After a 20-year military presence in Afghanistan, U.S. troops withdrew back in August, and the Taliban swiftly took over the country, igniting fear and mass evacuations. Desperate to leave, thousands of Afghans were airlifted by our troops as part of Operation Allies Welcome. Now, 53,000 refugees are being housed across eight military bases in the U.S., waiting to be processed before heading to their new homes here in America. Nearly 13,000 are stationed at Fort McCoy U.S. Army Base in Wisconsin, the largest group of Afghan refugees being hosted on a base. 35-year-old Nahid Sirabi and 24-year-old Farzana Mohammadi are just two of the brave refugees who escaped. Nahid, a government worker, made several attempts to leave Kabul, battling crowds at the airport. And Farzana, too, feared for her safety. She is a Paralympic athlete on the Afghanistan National Wheelchair Basketball Team. When the Taliban come over there in Afghanistan, uh, my, uh, my life is uh, messed up. And uh, I can't go to the, my uh, college studying and I can't go to my basketball. It's so, so hard for me. Each of them now hope for a brighter future here in the U.S. And we're so pleased to be joined now live from Fort McCoy with Farzana Mohammadi and Nahid Sarabi. Ladies, good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Farzana, we are just sitting here marveling mm -hmm. at you. Uh, you came all the way from Afghanistan by yourself. Mm. You were a Paralympic basketball star in Afghanistan. What was your journey like and what gave you that courage to leave? Okay. I passed a difficult trip to come into USA uh, and uh, I think uh, six, uh, six days we uh, passed to come in, in here and uh, um, it was difficult for her to reach the US. Mm -hmm. um, she made several attempts. Yeah. Um, she's feeling fine right now, mm -hmm. but till she got to the base here, um, she had gone through many difficult days. Yeah. Farzana, um, Farzana, we were just marveling at your story. I mean, we were just picturing you going through the airport by yourself in that wheelchair. We're so happy that you're here safe. And Nahid, um, you know, you had left Afghanistan prior. You got your education in India, got your uh, master's degree in Germany. You came back. Um, and then you found yourself fleeing once again. So I'm just thinking, as you sit here today and you reflect on what's going on, what, what thoughts go through you when you think of your home country of Afghanistan? Um, thank you so much for that. That's, that's a very important question, and that's how all, all girls, all young girls and my age are, are thinking about. Uh, we went back home to serve a country, to to reconstruct, to have part in development of Afghanistan in the past 20 years. And once and again, I think when I, um, when, when Kabul fell and all of us left, I, I saw like a building shattering to its foundation. And that's how it fell. And today as I'm sitting here, I'm still thinking about um, thousands and millions of women, especially girls who are deprived of education right now. And it has been, uh, 23 days since girls hadn't been able to go to secondary school. Yeah. And it, I, I really think it's, it's so shattering to think that women and girls in Afghanistan are deprived of their basic rights. Um, and as, as a girl who had received education, and this is my second time uh, leaving my country, the first time just the reason that I left Afghanistan, that I could not go to school, and I've had the chance to be educated. Um, it, it just, um, it, it pinches me so hard to think that millions of girls could not or may not have that opportunity um, 
to be where I am today um, mm. in, in a couple of years um, uh, from now if the situation continues to be like this. And then just real quickly, Farzana and Nahid, and um, Nahid, if you want to help Farzana, we certainly understand just what your hopes are for this new life, what her hopes are, what your hopes are, Nahid. Um, um, made it better in that she has um, Chita. Okay. I wish I can to, uh, uh, started my basketball again and I can make a good future for myself. Yeah. I think yeah. I believe in myself. Oh, we believe in you too. <laughs> and Nahid, what's your dream now? My dream is, it's not only about my dream, I think, as an as a educated um, uh, Afghan woman, um, I, I have um, my, my responsibility as a person and also towards my nation. Uh, I want to hold myself back. Uh, I want to have a professional life in the USA, but also be empowered enough to help people back home. Um, I think that that's my only wish. Well, you are well on your way, yeah. both of you. Thank you for your voices. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your courage, Farzana and Nahid. It's really lovely to be with you this morning. Beautiful. Thank you, ladies, so, so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.